A national mentoring scheme that's getting more black state educated young people to apply for elite universities. It's calling for students right here in Northamptonshire as the deadline is just a few days away. Well, the target Oxbridge has helped over 50% of its applicants to secure offers at Oxford and Cambridge universities this year and wants to do better this time around. Now, last week, three of their target Oxbridge applicants received offers from Oxbridge and two of them are with us tonight, along with the project coordinator. Uh, we'll speak to Daniel first. Hello there, Daniel. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for taking the time out to speak to us today. Calm, are you there as well? Hi, I'm here, yes. And Alexandra? Good evening. All right. Uh, I tell you what, uh, this is very interesting because I, I did a lot of research around this a few years ago and was wondering why we didn't have many more BME groups, you know, getting into or applying for Oxford or Cambridge. But uh, this need seems now, uh, these places are being very accessible for black students from working class backgrounds, Daniel. Yes, um, I think one thing we found is that um, a lot of students perceived that Oxford or Cambridge um, wasn't for them. Um, so I think a lot of the work we've done really has been aimed at breaking down a lot of those myths and actually encouraging people to apply and really believe in themselves and apply themselves in a way to really make the most of their potential. Um, and I think we found that once students actually make the step forward to actually kind of put themselves forward for these, for these things, then they're able to kind of perform well and gain places as Alex and Calm have shown. Now, you always hear of Oxford and Cambridge only looking or choosing for the best. Is that the truth? I mean, do you have to have, like, super excellent grades, or is it just a myth? I, know, I mean, you've got to have quite quite good grades. I think Oxford and Cambridge do both are, are both um, exceptional um, educational institutions, um, so they will kind of um, expect to kind of have a minimum requirement of um, three A's at A-level. Um, but I think three A's are, is definitely attainable for, for a lot of students um, once they begin to apply themselves. Um, and, and again, I think the programme definitely helps in terms of helping to um, kind of help students find their way around some of the issues that may have prevented um, students in the past from making good good sub um, decisions on which subjects to apply for. Um, so I think we do kind of help to kind of students really to make the most out of their potential. So Daniel, when and whereabouts you decide to step in and get involved to break down this myth about um, BME or, you know, like, these people not getting into the, these universities? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it really came from um, my own personal story um, as somebody who graduated quite recently from Oxford University, um, having gone qu quite through a um, torturous process, you might say, um, in terms of kind of getting through at the second time of applying. Um, so the first time I applied, I felt that I wasn't able to um, do myself justice. Um, I was trying to become the first person ever from my school to get into Oxford um, and didn't really have any support at all um, in terms of preparing me for the application. So I think this whole pro programme and project is something that's very close to my heart um, and I think will definitely help students moving forward. And as you said, at the start of the programme, the deadline is um, coming up um, quite quickly. So if there are any listeners out there who are interested in applying, please do. And we'll be able to help you through mentoring um, and support just to make sure that you're able to put in a strong um, an application as you can. Well, that's good, because I was just going to say to you, it sounds like you're doing a little bit of mentoring work there for other people opening the doors for them. And just before we speak to sort of like Calm and Alexandra, what are the fees like, of course? Because, I mean, that can also play a very important part as to whether people can actually go there to these universities or not. Yeah, I mean, so, so I think the fees um, in Oxford and Cambridge will be um, the same as the other elite institutions um, at £9,000 per year. Um, but I think both Oxford and Cambridge have quite um, extensive bursary packages, uh, which means that they'll kind of give you um, a certain amount of money that you won't have to pay back. Um, so Oxford especially has a bursary package and a fee waiver package, um, which means that they effectively kind of take off um, a big chunk of the £9,000 fee. Um, so I think in, in reality, Oxford and Cambridge do tend to be um, two of the most affordable universities for people to apply to. Well, that's very interesting because it's not just the fact that you've got the sort of like uh, the name of you know you know I graduated from from Cambridge or Oxford. You're also getting a little bit more support there, so it's good for for young people and students to know that if they work really really hard and that's what they aim to to get to, and of course Oxford and the Cambridge are, are doing the courses they want to do, it can be more rewarding in more ways than one. Yes, and I think um, both Oxford and Cambridge um, do, do realise um, like some of the 
barriers that people from uh, non-typical backgrounds m may face, um, a lot of the psychological boundaries in applying to places like Oxford and Cambridge. Um, so they have almost gone the extra mile um, to make sure that people do feel comfortable when, when applying. Um, and I think that's hopefully beginning to kind of be borne out in some of the figures. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, uh, Danny, for speaking to us and tell us about the mentoring project you've going on there and how it's working. Now, I'd like to quickly just speak to, to Calm there. Uh, Calm, you're one of the successful of all ones. What was it like when you received your information just last week? Um, I was in shock, to tell you the truth. Um, not, not to say that I didn't think I could do it, because... Well, I, I did think I could do it. <laughs> but but um, it was, the reason I did think I could do it is because of the amount of support that I've had to get here. But um, when they called me first to tell me the news, I was in shock. <laughs> I, I, similar to how I am now, I was lost for words a little. And to hear I had an unconditional place was... I felt relieved because it meant that there was something definite in my life in terms of education I can go forward into. And I knew that it was going to open a lot of doors for me. But at the same time, I felt so relieved and I felt a sense of achievement having gone through all of the steps to get here. So I think it was a combination of elation and just personal satisfaction at the end. Who did you first share the news with? Um, I shouldn't really say this because my mum thinks I called her first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, called, I called my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I mm. thought... She, she helped me through a lot of the way. We went of to the course. same sixth form, and she gave me the support. And I just, <laughs> yeah. But I get your point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Mum's going to forgive you. But um, well done. What are you? What are you going to be studying? I'm going to be studying history. And uh, why? Why history of all things? Oh, I, lo I love history. Um, <laughs> initially, when I was going to apply, because I'm on my gap year placement now, when I was initially going to apply, I was going to apply for law because. I thought that that was the only way to get into law and I think um, that touches on the point of being aware about things. With the support of the Oxbridge programme I was made to understand that that wasn't the only avenue I could go through and I could just do a law conversion at the end. So for me I enjoyed history throughout my whole year 12 and year 13 studying and I wanted to further that and knowing that choosing that subject for my passion and it isn't going to disqualify me from the career path I wanted to go down made me more comfortable in applying for history. and. I just can't wait to learn more. Mm -hmm. And the support of you being getting from your mentor, is this going to be continuing? Yeah, it's going to continue throughout university and even onward. And I think I'm, I'm most thankful for that in the sense that having a lot of people, even in my own school, teachers even, that weren't necessarily as supportive as I think they could have been. They, they had doubts for me that crept into me. But having um, people outside of my family and friends who were obligated to tell me I could do it, having people at Target Oxbridge to tell me that they believed in my potential, that's pushed me forward so much more. And having that to go through onward in life, I think, is going to be invaluable. I think it's great news, Carm, and um, we would like to speak to you again when you graduate from there as well. Thank you, I'd love to be mm -hmm. here again. And that's saying last but not least, Alexandra. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how did you break the news? How did that all come to you? Um, my mum she was at home for lunch, actually, and she got the letter before I did. <laughs> and she um, she rung me. I was on my way back from sixth form, and she had the letter in her hand, and she was ringing me like, I can feel that there's more than one piece of paper in here. And obviously, I was thinking, oh, my God, is that good news? Is that bad news? Um, I drove home and opened the letter, and I read the first three words, which said, I am pleased. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, they got a place. Um, but, yeah, so then me and my mum... Um, celebrated, I rung about a million people and told them the news. And um, yeah, I cried and was really happy. <laughs> well, congratulations, all Thank in all of that. Uh, what are you studying? Um, PPE, which is Politics, Philosophy and Economics. Wow, very good. And why, why that route? Um, I've always been interested in humanities and maths, um, and it's hard to find a course that combines them, usually. Um, they, they tend to go down one route or the other, and uh, PP is one of the very few courses that does combine them both and also I'm, as I'm sure many will be aware PP is also a very powerful degree and um, I quite like challenges and so I thought well everyone doesn't think uh, a lot of people don't think that I'm capable of getting to Oxford I was like oh I'm going to prove them wrong and then I thought you know I'm not going to apply for, go down to an, e an easy route and just pick a degree that is um, 
not to discredit any degrees, but a That's degree a that mate. might, <laughs> but a degree that might be, for example, have a higher uh, success rate or be a bit easier to get into because not many people apply. I thought, you know what, I'm interested in PPE, I'm interested in politics, philosophy and economics, so why not apply for the most competitive course? Brilliant. <laughs> I went for it. <laughs> well, I tell you what, did, did, I, I know it's probably too late to even probably think about a second choice university. Did you have one? What was it? Um, yes, Durham, which I hate to say. <laughs> if any <laughs> Durham tutors are listening, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because I know that the university is... Um, mm -hmm. has a lot of people who apply to Oxford apply to Durham as well and I absolutely loved Durham when I went there um, it's a brilliant university and I know that I'd be academically challenged there as well but yeah Oxford is a little yeah. bit closer to home as well yes, well done <laughs> well I know you've got quite a few interviews to get through this evening I want to say thank you very much you've made me feel very proud of I didn't, <laughs> uh, of, of meeting and speaking with you and Dal you've done a fantastic job um, with these young people and I hope it long continues Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank you for taking time out, and hopefully we we'll speak to you when you graduate. Yes. yes. If not before. <laughs> Thank you. You take care. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so there, you see, uh, you can do it. It can be done. There is an example of two young people, and of course a mentor there, Daniel there. Um, you know, it's Oxbridge. They target, and, uh, you know, you too can do that.